Make sure you get your student goal met or game over. <laughs> Chicken patty sandwich. Pizza. Snacker. Fresh veggie tray with ranch. <laughs> Hi, I'm playing with a sports update today. Today we are talking about an amazing coach. Coach Bobby Bowden. Bowden coached West Virginia from 1970 to 1975 before he went to FSU. In case, if you didn't know, that, was, that is my favorite team. He coached FSU from 1976 to 2009. What makes him so great is that he won 12 ACC championships, which are the best two teams in the ACC go against each other, and the, and the national championship game is whenever one, the two best teams go against each other. Bobby lives a long life, up to 91. People still admire him. In fact, they changed the field to Bobby Bowden Field. I'm McLean, go Knowles. I'm somebody you may know, the Tooth Fairy. I just got some dental work myself. Look at these beauties. I visit the dentist twice a year. You should too. Even if you don't have any cavities, you should still get some really good cleaning. A cavity is a hole or delay on your tooth. Sometimes they're dark in color, but sometimes you can't see them. Cavities can sometimes cause pain. Cavities will go away on your own. You have to have a dentist to remove the cavity, or they have to remove the whole entire tooth. The best thing you can do is not get cavities. How can you prevent them? Brush your teeth, kids, and floss. And all that sugar you eat makes bacteria form, which causes cavities. I gotta go, I have a lot of work to do today. This water is really delicious. How did this water come to be? Let me give you a quick explanation. The world's water moves between lakes, rivers, and oceans an atmosphere and land in an ongoing cycle called the water cycle. As it goes through a continuous system, it can be a liquid, water, a gas, vapor, or a solid, ice. First we have evaporation. Energy from the sun heats up the surface of the earth, causing the temperature of the water in our rivers, lakes, and oceans to rise. When this happens, some of the water evaporates into the air turning into a gas called vapor. Plants and trees also lose water to the atmosphere from their leaves. As water vapor rises up high into the sky, it turns back into a liquid and becomes a cloud. We call this condensation. The water droplets in the clouds become too big and heavy for the air to hold them, and so they fall back down to the earth as rain, snow, hail, or sleet. This is known as precipitation. Some precipitation will fall directly into lakes, rivers, or the sea from where it will evaporate. This would sure be a great topic for the standardized test. I'm Caroline. Cheers! Hi, I'm Santiago. Let me tell you about an adorable animal you may never heard of, DIA. These guys are considered to be young-fingered lemurs. They have a bushy tail that's larger than their body. They have big eyes, sender fingers, and pointed claws. This allows them to dangle from branches. They're actually related to chimps and humans. If you ever travel to Madagascar, you will probably see one of these guys. They're considered to be sacred and to be good, good yuck. The eye-eyes prey is called fossil. These guys are related to the meerkat. These guys are also omnivores. To end this off, let me tell you a joke. What did the eye say to the captain? 
Aye, aye, Captain. I hope you guys brought your umbrellas today because it might rain with a high of 81 degrees and a slight breeze. Sorry, I'm Liam. I'm going to tell you some fun weather facts from Mom. There are nearly 2,000 thunderstorms on Earth every minute. A bolt of lightning is five times hotter than the sun. Clouds look white because they are reflecting sunlight from the sun. How many facts can you find? Hey, we love you, Miss Wilma.